And he went, what are you doing? I went, putting the bins out, aren't I? You know, they'll, they'll be gone. He went, no, it's a Friday. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Mundane in the Brain, the interview series where we learn the mundane parts of people's lives and today we're learning about the mundane parts of being a footballer with former Aston Villa, Birmingham City, West Brom, Hull and Portland Timbers MLS winning captain Mr Liam Ridgewell. Liam, is football pure excitement all the way or are there mundane bits of it? The, mostly it is very very good and very exciting. Uh, there can be a few mundane things, uh, warming up probably one of them. Uh, not a big enjoyer of warmer up. Or How long do you uh, spend warming up? Oh it's got longer nowadays. Has it? Uh, it used to be a good five minutes just run around and, uh, and get going but now it's yeah, a lot of stretching, a lot of warming up before you get going and uh, yeah, don't really enjoy that part. I'd just rather rather get going. Yeah, fair enough. You had a lot of commuting as well. You were at Hull and mm. you were living down Essex Way. Yeah. How did you entertain yourselves on the long car journeys? Yeah, listening to the radio, catching up with uh, friends and family on the phone, uh, speaking. Um, and yeah, that's probably about it really. Didn't, uh, should have got into a few more podcasts and stuff like that. Uh, told about Peter Crouch's podcast and things like yeah. that, but never really... Uh, got around to listen to them, uh, caught up with people, made sure I was up to date and uh, a little bit of music. Did you not find that boring, like three hour journeys? Yeah, it, could, it, it did. Well, I think two hours was fine and it was like, oh. But, yeah. you know, I really enjoyed my time. Great place, uh, great great club and lo met some lovely people um, and uh, did you have enjoyed a it. Did you have a favourite service station on the way up you pop into? <laughs> Do you know what? No, I didn't stop. No. no I can't stop. If I'm doing a long, long drive, I can't stop. I just feel like I'm wasting. Wasting it. I could be half an hour further up the road. Uh, we, if I get tired, maybe, but no. What are we talking? M11, M25, M11? Yeah, A1? M, M25, M11, A1, M1, is it? And then yeah. Yeah, keep going. A1M. That that's it. A1M, after. that's right. Yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that's uh, says everything, really, I suppose. That's why you're mundane about knowing the, the motorways. Yeah, and if you do, it's quite a weird road because you don't have like the proper service stations, <laughs> do you? Right, You've yeah. got like the weird things. Yeah, and they, they're doing it all up. Now, that's then, right, yeah, and they're doing it all up. So it made a 50 mile an hour for about an hour and a half. Yeah, I actually knew the cam where the cameras were as well. Yeah, so. you got that average speed check that's bit, right. haven't you, as well between yeah, yeah. the M11 and that's the right. A1M. Yeah, so I suppose that <laughs> it's probably a bit mundane knowing where the cameras were. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Chuck cruise control there. That's my tip when I've got the 2008 Vauxhall Vectra on that. Um, so, so what about chores around the house? What, what, what's in your remit? What's your responsibilities at home? Uh, to, to responsibilities are putting the bins out. Oh. She won't go and put them out. Uh, she'll do it if I'm not there, but really, she's waiting for me to go and do it. Um, and then really just tidying up. I like to keep a clean house, so tidy up quite a lot, uh, making sure you know most of the rooms are tidy, all the pillows are set out, controllers should be where they should be, and uh, yeah, I, I like to get stuck in every now and again. Is that your favourite job, tidying? Tidying, I like tidying. Do you? Yeah, I get of like a, a satisfaction out of tidying or chucking stuff away. Love chucking stuff away. It's brilliant. Are you, do you do any of that con Marie, Marie Kondo <laughs> stuff, or is it just like basic? No, just, just no, just tidying. every day. I'd like uh, make sure it's tidy before I go to bed every day. Uh, but love chucking stuff out and like extra clothes and I don't chuck it out or take it take it somewhere. But just getting rid of something and then going, God, look how tidy that looks. I can't get into tidy. I'd love <laughs> no? to. I'd love to be better at tidy because when yeah, it's tidy, it's like oh, how could it be tidy? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, it is. It's just like it no. is a lot of satisfaction. I take a lot of satisfaction out of it. Yeah, cooking. Cooking, I'd love to. A lot watch all the cooking shows. Yeah. I'd love to be able to cook really well, but just not great at it. No. I give it a go. I gave. Uh, well, I done, I done a starter uh, for Christmas. I done the starter. It was a crab, smoked salmon, prawns, uh, all mixed in, and then a bit of sauce and everything. It went down well. Sounds People all right, loved it, yeah. yeah. But it's very Bobby basic. It was very yeah. easy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What about your least favourite chore? Is there something that you can't stand? Oh, doing? cleaning, cleaning. Yeah. Hate, hate the actual like going and cleaning like the toilets and, and yeah. things like that. Hate that ironing. Yeah. Hate ironing. Don't. I'd, I'd, I'd rather watch have it screwed up. Can't, yeah, I can't I stand there and iron. I don't mind a little iron. No. It's all right, but I'll only I'll only iron. I'm not ironing a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, ironing yeah. like yeah. a shirt or something <laughs> like a linen shirt. I try and it. hang them up straight away. Yeah. So the creases fall out. Yeah. I don't even know that's true, but I've heard that somewhere, so I do that. Oh yeah, if you get, if you get it quickly yeah, out of yeah, the yeah, washing yeah. machine. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Or a nice sunny day on the on the line outside, <laughs> you're, you're 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 away. Yeah. What about if you could have an employee? We ask this to everyone. If you could have an employee who could do one very specific job. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so, for example, for me, it can't just be like cooking. Yeah. It has to be like I'd have someone to chop onions. Does it have to be at home? Can it be anywhere? No, it can be any oh, okay. any any little chore that you, that you don't like doing yourself that you like someone to do for you. Oh well, as I'm dressed in golf gear, it'd yeah. be someone to carry my golf bag every time I go out and play golf. Nice, like a caddy would type. Would you want yeah, advice? Yeah, a stuff? caddy. Yeah, that would be that'd be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now uh, they could give a little bit of advice. That, that'd be fine. I don't have to be knowledgeable. No. Just to carry the bag, really. And if I ask for a club, they give it to me. I'm not allowed to speak. Yeah, no, that's just, right. Yeah, just, 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 just don't talk to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't speak at all. When you get there, you open the door. Uh, that's why like I normally bring the kids out. I normally bring my son out, Luca, and uh, he rides in the buggy with me. And I'll go, you know, if it's cart path only, I'll go right, run back and get me a pitching wedge. But didn't realise he didn't know what a pitching wedge was, so he'd come back with loads of clubs. So I need to <laughs> update him and teach him about that. So it'd probably be uh, a caddy. Fair enough, fair enough. You mentioned bin day, mm -hmm. big fan of that on the channel. How, what's yeah. your bin day routine like? When, what day's bin day? And bin day is a Friday morning. Okay. So it goes out Thursday night. Yeah. Um, uh, when we first moved in, I didn't know which day it was. So I did, I just left it out there all week. Yeah. And obviously I'd put it out on a Monday or a Sunday night and it'd be there all the way to the Friday. Luckily, my next door neighbour, I was out there one day and he went, what are you doing? I went, put the bins out, and I, you know, they'll, they'll be gone. He went, no, it's a Friday. Stop right. putting them out. It's making it all messy and they just keep, rubbish keeps going everywhere. I'm like, all right, okay, fair enough. Is it like wheelie bins or is it Wheelie bins, yeah, wheelie bins and then recycling's in a clear plastic bag. Um, okay. So that, that's not too bad. Um, I've got a bin outside that I put the, the re recycling bags into, yeah. but they don't fit in. What can you put in your recycling? Can you put glass in? <laughs> yeah, no, glass can't go in there. No, that I goes in yeah. a separate, it's all the wine bottles. I've got to drive mine to a bottle bank like no. it's the 80s. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is ridiculous. Seven Oaks Council. <laughs> yeah, sort, <laughs> yeah it out. sort that out. Christ, yeah, I, I wouldn't do it. No. I'd just put it in the bin, which Cat is really bad. Yeah, but. <laughs> I, I generally will do it, but there has been <laughs> yeah. the odd occasion when it's like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a little like <laughs> yeah, a mini yeah. sauce bottle or something there, like right. that. Yeah. Little, little miniature <laughs> or something. Um, that, that might go in. Now, mm -hmm. obviously, you, you went to um, uh, America, yeah. an incredible achievement mm -hmm. to win the MLS yeah, Cup, captaining Portland, captaining yeah. uh, Portland Timbers. Mm -hmm. What was Bin Day like in America? Yeah, but, uh, similar, actually. Um, it was, I can't remember the day now. I did the same, though. I just left them out all week, and whenever they went, they just went. So I didn't really get to know the Bin Day. My mum's really good with her bin days, so what she did, she, when she came out there, she read it on a piece of paper and put it on, in nice. the cupboard. A cupboard that I use a lot, then look in there. But I still didn't know the bin day, I didn't use it enough. So, yeah. should have known more about it, but they had different days, like Monday would be a certain, like recycling, another Tuesday would be a different day, Wednesday would be a different day, Thursday would be a different day. Yeah. So I used to just go, put yeah. it all out there at once. Which and did, is did you, like here, we don't have wheelie bins, so I've got no. to put bags out. Oh, right, so you've no. got to watch out for foxes. I yeah. imagine there's all sorts of bin predators you've yeah, got to worry about. about yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, deers and everything would come down there. Um, yeah, they, they'd snoop around a little bit. Luckily we had bins, Did but you? they were obviously with the Americans, they were massive bins. Yeah. They were extra large ones, obviously bigger and better. And uh, yeah, they were a bit hard to pull up either hill or um, onto my drive. So pulling them up was quite hard. Yeah. Going down, you just push them but coming yeah. back the other way was pretty difficult. But uh, yeah, there were different days, which was made it a little bit tough. Nice. Were there any other differences in America, any other mundane things that were unique to your experience in Portland? <laughs> uh, uh, they didn't know how to merge. What, traffic-wise? Traffic-wise, merge was so very, very difficult. They'd sort of stop at the end, and then it'd be like, indicate. What, two lanes into one you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or going down a slip road and merging, or sort of going off. It'd be, it'd be a tricky thing, and I'd be like, just go. Go on, go, go, yeah. go. Yeah. Don't probably. have roundabouts either, do they? No, don't have roundabouts. No, that was that was very strange actually. When I was talking about roundabouts, yeah. The one time I drove obviously the wrong side of the road, I'd come out of Toys or Russ and went down the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> they were laughing at me. I'm like, look, sorry, this I had to reverse the way back up. Yeah. And unluckily it had like that big bit in the road, I couldn't just turn. Yeah. So I had to reverse the way back up and everyone sort of driving following me. Fantastic. So that was uh, that was a bit annoying. Brilliant. Well, Lynn, thank you very much for sharing with us your, um, your bin day routine. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me. Um, and uh, we'll be back soon with more bin and mundane related interviews in the very near future. Thank you. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>